um, anyway. <laughs> so I don't have a problem going in to my painting and, you know, sometimes I'll write words or I'll, I'll mark them up or I'll just, you know, I just like to get rid of the white, truthfully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or you saw me start this one with the pigment sticks. Um, what I do, what I've been doing recently is I mix a bunch of wax and I use the gambling wax, but you can, the only wax um, that's really hard to use because it doesn't dry is Williamsburg's wax. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I find that difficult to use. I, th I think you use it for yeah. something else. Okay. But, so Gamblin's a great company and they, um, anything you need to know is on their website or you can call and talk to somebody named Dave and he'll give you information. <laughs> so, um, lately what I've been doing is using, this got um, poked in, the, in flight. So this is Galga Gel and it's an oil painting medium. It does smell a little bit. Um, I add it to the wax. How do you say it? Galkid gel. Gal oh. Here it is. Galkid gel. And there's a nice tube, new tube here for you to use. It's a good way to start the paintings. Um, it's shiny on its own. If you add it to the wax, more wax than gel, um, it it will stay, it's matte. But it adds um, flex, flexibility to the wax. So less brittle. And it also helps for dry time. Is it the same as the liquid? So li uh, Galkid Light is a painting medium. It's much more liquidy. You can mix that too, but it's gonna have a different consistency. This is the jelly consistency. Okay. So this helps to dry it too. Yeah, okay. 24 hour dry As time. flex which, and drying. Which is why um, I've been starting to teach with it mm -hmm. and paint with it myself. Mm -hmm. um, to, so I can increase the dry time of the layers. Now on their website, there, and, and actually the paperwork is here, um, talking about the mediums are all compatible and you can figure out you know, which, what, how, what you want it shiny, you want to dry fast, you want to slow dry, whatever you want. The website's got it all. Yeah, also most painting, paint, most artist stores have those. That pamphlet you're talking about. Right. I have it here. I just yeah. have to find it. So what I like to do is um, I put my wax out and then I decide on a palette. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to suggest today that you choose um, maybe three warm colors and three cool colors on different palettes. So um, there's a tube of this that you can use, um, transparent orange. It's it's um it's one of my favorite colors. Can we use our own too, or not? Oh yeah, yeah you're gonna use your own. I I, okay. I I have actually don't use mine. Ask me first. Okay. <laughs> but it. this is a sharing tube, and I have another sharing tube for you. So this is the pearling red, and this is a sharing. Tube. I'll put everything sherry over there. This is pearling red. What, what is that called? Pearling red. Hmm. So we'll put those over there. And then um, I'm gonna take a, those are transparent. This is an opaque yellow, Hansa Yellow Deep. I'm gonna so pick. you're using, they're warm, they're all warm, but there's two, Transparent. uh, two parents and one. Okay, great, great. And yeah. Lisa, I brought these because these are such nice graphite sticks. Yum. So let's put those out okay. for people to use. You're they're okay if a, they get dirty? I'm okay, totally. All right. Because to me, they're so exquisite. They make a delicate Perfect. line. Perfect. Yay. Okay, thank you. So this is um, ultramarine blue. Most ultramarines are okay, uh, transparent. And I'm going to go does for the Does it say cat. on the tubes? I've never noticed that. Does it say whether it's uh, transparent? Yeah, it or does. Does it? It does. It always does. On the tubes? Yeah, I was yeah, always wondering. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, there's a little tiny thing that's oh, missing. Yes, right oh, here. Oh, or T. I mean, it's it's on every tube. Yeah. You oh, know what I learned from you that was so helpful in the uh, in Provincetown when you gave a talk, <clears throat> not because I didn't get into your class, um, was how the red no the green light went on for you when you learned it from somebody. Richard, that. was it separating your um, transparency and your and then the, and then now you're doing the warms and the cools and I came home and I like 
<laughs> totally. Uh, and Because I didn't have a clue. And with encaustic, particularly, mm -hmm. you know, um, I was going to say to you about the mud, whoever was saying about mud. Me. You're probably <laughs> not letting the paint cool enough. Mm -hmm. Or you're overheating and then putting oh, paint that, on yeah. top and then you're getting mud because it's, yeah. Yeah. you know, with encaustic, it's so easy not to get. But we'll yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I like to do then is, you know, put some wax to each paint. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you adjust the ratio a bit of the cold wax? And the paint? You said earlier you don't do good I don't, I just never, I, I never. That's what they say it, in your book. I didn't um, read, I I, um, I, 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 the book. I, I, um, it's just the way I. I know, I know. I just do, I don't know. I mean, I started using more wax. I'm sure a lot of artists. After, you know, hanging out with Rebecca, but. Um, That's one thing that comes clear in the book is there's a lot of ways of using cold wax. Oh yeah. So I'm just cleaning my knife, right? So that's, um, and then this is the perline red. So that's a very cool red, huh? Yeah, I don't, uh, when, we, when I talk in a workshop about um, warms and cools, I'm really sim simplifying it mm -hmm. um, for, for, you know, whatever sake. And then this is the opaque. So even though I have wax in there, it's still, there's a difference. Let's just see if I can get, so you can see it. Okay, so this is transparency. Ooh, yeah, right. Okay, that's, that's the orange. Mm -hmm. And then, um, This is the perline red. Hmm. And I like to put it on top of here. Hmm. Right? And then this is that Hansa yellow. Hmm. Now that is, that's an opaque color. The wax lets it be a little bit okay. transparent, but it doesn't reflect the light the same as the hmm. transparent color. It's different. Hmm. But what's good to know is, let's say, I'm gonna take this yellow, which is opaque, and I'm gonna mix in some more transparent. So then I've just made a different, more transparent to opaque, transparent orange, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So in terms of um, what I put down here, let's do it on this. <clears throat> and it's going to be really nice over that mm. green. Mm. Woo! Yum! Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, look, you can almost see through it. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, how beautiful mm -hmm. is that? Wow. So, um, I like that little piece. <laughs> so, what I want you to do, and um, mm. I want you to. Get down some layers of, of um, we're going to, again, warm, we're going to stay with warms on one board. Okay. And so you can oh, okay. play around with transparency and opacity. You can come in here. And so with this, I can, it, while I'm painting here, so I can put this directly on and then pick up a little wax, adding wax to the pigment stick, right? There, and then move it around. And I'm looking for not real thick, but not real thin. Thick enough that you can get some texture going, right? Let me just get rid of this somewhere. Um, let's put this red in here. Ooh. So I've been really interested in reds. We were talking about that, Colette and I. And because um, she she shared a beautiful red, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that your piece? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so can you give us any red insights that you? <laughs> yeah. Have on the subject of red. Um, 
Well, I love this perlene red. Mm -hmm. Is um, it P-E-A-R-O? It's right, it's right over there. Is it P -E -R -O? Let, let me, uh, you know what, give me a minute because I can't. Oh, yeah. I see. I, I can't took a photo see. of you. I want to. I want to yeah. choose one. I took a couple photos because you're so beautiful into that red right now. <laughs> yeah. And after that fire we had here, you were we were talking about. Oh. You know the devastation, right? Yeah, I'm a red girl. Mm. I make nice red paintings. Mm -hmm. But did you notice what happened? I know you. Have. How beautiful that blue came. Yeah. I picked it up, oh, yeah. and so I I went against my uh, my rules and you picked up, them. and I got this beautiful, mm. which. With the red in it, it looks dark, it looks black. Mm -hmm. So, um, pull that off. Hmm. So are we trying to do paintings or not No, yet? you are not, not trying yet. to do paintings. Okay. I'll tell you when you're making paintings. Okay, great. <laughs> you're not there yet. Monday. So that's <laughs> great, I was gonna say. Sure. Yeah, you're thinking, and then. It's starting to look pretty. It, well, <laughs> Yeah, well, don't get too attached to my paintings. Got it. Um, so that's one layer. So this is kind of like the encaustic shuffle. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've learned to work on two Oh, yeah. Definitely. So oh. I'm going to let that, like, hang out there, and then I'm going to come over here. And I, I, already, I already cheated and made that red. But I'm going to come over here and put some blues down, some cools down. Mix these up. that too much and then I'm going to um, now look how much paint a mm -hmm. B um, that was wet so I'm really lightly going over this mm -hmm. I love how to step underneath this little mm -hmm. button that's right here yeah mm -hmm. Let me just get this over here hang on this is a dry painting mm -hmm. so that's opaque over that I'll show you in a minute um, and this is going to be the transparent blue. So you, okay, so let me ask you a question about like paint saving and stuff like that. Because every once in a while, I, when I open up my paint things, like, oh, I've got a little tiny con plastic container full of some paint mix I made. Do you yep. do that or is that? Oh, yeah. Oh, do you? Okay, so it's not. Completely. I actually try to use as much paint as possible. During a painting session. Okay. And and so, so leave none behind. So wh whoever it was, I think it was you. Um, mm -hmm. For me, you know, my best, my one of the funnest times is like it's ten to five, and I gotta go home, <laughs> and I got all this paint, and I go, wow. Mm -hmm. And then there's all this paint on these paintings. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I come back and go, oh my god. What have I done? What have I done? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so that's that's one, you know, layer. I, this one I did two thirds cool, right? And one but you third. want one of all. One of, you want well, one I think of you guys choice. would be good to, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get you to get out of the, you know, right the mud. thinking about the mud. But mm -hmm. you see, I can even come over here and I can lay some more paint down. Again, it's really light. Um, but it's it's wet on wet. It's just that you're going so lightly. This is the, right. I, I, yeah, I work wet on wet a lot. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to show you one of the the reasons why. And I'll I'll do this again. Um, you know, to know the transparencies, to see what happens when you do something like this. Let's see if it works. So it goes into all that textural mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, that's why you're gonna be building some texture, which I didn't even show you how to do that yet. But, right? As opposed to opacity, which covers it all up. Mm -hmm. and, and then watch the red. This does not mean it's gonna be a red painting, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then it's also, so this is over this blue. This is a three-day dryer here. I think it's dry. But then I can pull back still mm -hmm. and get the color from underneath. Mm -hmm. Now, you won't be able to do that today. Yeah. Um, but not longer than three days. It sets up. Oh, well, then it sets up. Yeah, oh, so, so what you should do, and then I'm gonna let it go. Um, you can get out some of your fun stuff. And I'll, I'll be doing this, doing demos, but um, mm -hmm. there we go. You know, just to, 
you know, I, I, I actually really hate this thing. So Those be careful. Those sequin things, yeah. Because everybody uses them. Everybody uses them and, and, and doesn't get rid of them. My, my stencil conversation is use them and lose them. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you ever heard me say that. But, yeah. So, but even here, I can start to um, build some stuff moving forward. And then carefully. Just get pieces of them. Yeah. Nice. Stencil. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or this stuff. <clears throat> do you clean your stencils? No. <laughs> when you use them, we do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, when it's wet like this. Is that from an old hula skirt? No, this is actually. Um, <laughs> is that horse hair? No, it's, it's, it's handmade paper. Oh, wow. But, but just look at what. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm not making a painting. I'm just building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just building some stuff up. And at this point, too, you can start to carve in um, lines that will show later on. You know, so it's just a matter of. Wow, you go deep. Because I'm trying to create a ridge, a ridge yeah. so that will show up later. Mm -hmm. One time I did, well, I've done a couple of paintings using the, a stencil that that showed up like five layers later. It was so great when I had reduced it, and it was like, oh my god, I totally forgot that that was in there, you know, and it made this very well, interesting. Well, that's, that's the great, yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah, we need nice. surprises in our what lives, mm -hmm. don't we? Um, this could, mm -hmm. yeah. it might be a stencil, girl stencil. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know well, that. They Same make great <laughs> stencils. Stencil yeah. girl. Yeah. yeah. She has a zillion Yeah, they're really. Stencils. <laughs> and I, I, I actually, people are surprised that I use them because I'm so against them. But uh, yeah. um, You are? You're against them? Yeah. Because cheating? Because, <clears throat> because people use them. Try. And then they, they, um, mm. they overuse them. And then I'm mm. looking at a painting that's about stencils. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is a little early to be doing this. But again, really lightly, I can get away with it. See oh, that? Because it has it set up. Yeah, there? yeah. So how much time would you give it? Maybe an hour. So it went Here. into the gap, the gouges, I'll call yeah. it. Yeah. What um, green is that? Huh? What? what green is that? Uh, that's cad green pale. Interesting. Mm -hmm. But I think I mixed it with a little blue. Oh, I. Sarah taught us to use um, whisk brooms. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm. I'm use about anything. I'm yeah. all about you know. You can use sand. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, so we can experiment. That's what you want us to do: is to create some textures with whatever. You got it. Yay! <laughs> um, and and if you noticed, I couldn't help myself. I went <laughs> two thirds blue, one third. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more Interesting. one third and I wasn't even thinking about it mm -hmm. it's just kind of what happened mm -hmm. so I'd let this sit and dry so you did two-thirds warm and 